Hey you guys, I want to share with you today how I created these envelopes for my easel cards. And easel cards are hard because, you know, it's hard to find square envelopes that are thick enough or, you know, have enough of um, girth to them to house these bulkier cards. So uh, when I create my cards, I usually try to keep them around five and a half or five by five or, you know, anything less than six inches. Um, because of the type of envelopes that I like to use. So I'm going to show you today how I make my envelopes. And they look very nice and clean. And when you have the cards in them, you know, you could you could certainly mail it like this. But sometimes when I, if I'm going to mail them, I'll stick them inside of a bubble uh, wrap envelope and mail them that way too. So here's my other card. I'm mailing these off to some kids that have cancer um, for Valentine's Day. And there they are. And I believe the stamp is uh, Flutter Anya from the Greeting Farm. I take all my stamps out of my stamp set. So um, take I take them off their sleeve so I don't know, you know, sometimes it's hard to figure out what they are. But um, also this, I've had quite a few people when I posted this on Facebook ask me where the stamp came from. This is a combination of two stamps. It's two Studio G stamps that I merged together. So um, that's a different tutorial. For now, we're going to talk about those envelopes. So basically, I went to the off supply store and I purchased these envelopes at six by nine. And I used I used to make cards that were this size, so that's why I used them. Um, so I want um, I wanted to make I wanted to you know size it down some to fit these these cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, you could use a cutter for this part, but since I'm sitting here at the station. I'm going to take my um, X-Acto knife and I'm just going to cut this envelope down to seven and a half inches. Okay. Now, you're not going to throw this away yet because you're going to need it. You're going to take this and open it up and you're going to open this part up. Try not to rip it too much because you want to use it as a guide for cutting. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect or anything, but you want to make sure you use it for, you keep the edges clean. Okay. So now this is what you have. And we're going to use this as our cutting guide for the envelope. So we're basically going to cut it, we're going to close it back up for now. We're going to stick it back in here and we know that our card is five and a half inches. But if you um, want to make sure you have enough bulk, uh, you know, enough space for the bulk, what I did to determine my measurements is I took my card already made and I put it in here because some cards are going to need a little bit more um, for the cushion on the side than other cards, just depending on the depth that you have inside of them. So I'm looking at maybe possibly this you know being about six inches and I want to leave when I when I use this as my guide I want to leave about a quarter of an inch here because I have a quarter of an inch here and a quarter of an inch I know is going to work for this so basically I'm going to line it up so that the crease that's here lines up with the crease that's here I know it's white so it's going to be hard to see but I'm going to start out by trimming um, trimming off this angle okay so there that's what I have now this side will match this side as far as that goes then I'm going to come back down here be careful don't cut yourself and I'm going to cut this following the same angle guide that's on the envelope and I'm going to remove that so now that's what I have I'm going to take this out and put it away because I don't need it anymore then I'm going to follow that same make sure that the piece that's on the inside is actually straight. And I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see. And, and again, it's hard to see, but I think you can get it. So basically, right here, this is an angle. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just follow that angle out with my X-Acto knife. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then I'm following along that crease to cut that little bit of a triangle out. So basically that's that's the bottom of my envelope that I'm trimming down right there. Then I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up 
with this flap can't see I hope I'm getting it straight it doesn't matter if it's straight because you're gonna tuck it in anyway so just trim along there so now I have my inside flap now I need to do my outside flap and notice how the out the, this flap is a lot smaller than this one so that gets a little more tricky <laughs> What I like to do is to fold this in first and line it up at this side and then line it up over here and just fold it down. Now what that does is it gives me an idea of where I need to cut along here. So I don't want to, I want to make sure when I'm lining this up that I don't cut this but I want to cut a little bit to the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mat and I'm going to place it inside of, actually I better do it going the other way. Um, I'm going to place it inside of here and I'm going to kind of try and line it up with a number that I know I can see from the other side. So I'm lining it up with the four. From the back side I can see the numbers in, the, in there. So I'm going to line it up with the four and I'm going to find that four on this side, which you can kind of tell because it's already kind of ripped. But I'm going to come just slightly to the inside right there. And I'm going to trim that off. Wait. Yes, I'm going to trim that off. Okay. So now this is what I have. And it looks like I might have needed to come in just a little bit more. Just a hair more. Not a lot. It's a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it'll it'll go pretty quick. You don't I mean Okay. And then just break that off. Okay. Now what you're gonna do is and, and, and you could just take some scissors and trim that up just a little bit, but don't trim it off the, the you know, don't, don't push all the way through if you try to trim that up because um, you don't want to um, disconnect your envelope down here at the bottom. I don't, I'm not talking in nouns today. So basically this is what we have, but notice that this corner is rounded on here and this corner is not. So I'm just gonna take my little quarter rounder and I'm going to round that corner off. And then all I have to do is put a little bit of glue right in here. And I'm using quick dry glue. And don't go all the way to the top because some of that sticks out at the top. And then there you go. You have the perfect little envelope. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, your measurements are going to be cut at six and a half or seven and a half. Excuse me. You could have probably gone into seven and a quarter, but I like to leave myself a little bit of room. It's always easier to trim a little bit off than it is to um, cut too much off at one time. Um, but that's an easy way to make a cute little envelope um, that to put your bulkier cards in or your square cards because even a really thin square card this would be a good card for envelope for so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it